Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our live broadcast from Maxwell DeMille's Cicada Club. Here in Los Angeles, California, America's greatest winter playground, where tonight we proudly present Dean Mora and his orchestra. And now, here's your master of ceremonies, that man about town, Maxwell DeMille. Thank you, Johnny Holliday. And if we could have a spotlight turned on, that would be really nice. I'm really not used to working with yes, that. Mr. Holliday in the dark. Thank my you very lighting. much. Some, someone has moved you out of your light. I feel like Norma Desmond. Help me. Hedda. Yes. Well, Mr. Holliday. Yes. Oh, yes, we're back. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, who was that girl I saw you with? Dancing uh, during the band break? Well, that's my new girl. What's she like? Well, uh, she likes uh, bourbon, scotch, gin, rye, wine, champagne. <laughs> He'll be working tomorrow yes. someplace, I'm sure. Yeah, where did you meet her? Oh, well, um, I met her upstairs at the mezzanine lounge. I asked her for a dance. Did you dance the fox? Fox. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> yes. Good evening, ladies good. and gentlemen. Good. Welcome to Maxwell DeMille's Cicada Club. Cicada Club. And this is Maxwell DeMille. Yes. Thank you. We're live. Uh, my question was. <laughs> yes. I'm reading it right here. Uh, did you dance the fox trot, the jitterbug, or the waltz? Uh, the one step. The one step? Yes, one step, and I changed my mind about dancing with her. <laughs> <laughs> Hardly worth the trouble, I Or Amsterdam wrote all this material. Yes, thank you very much. He's dead. But say, Mr. Holiday, I hope you're enjoying our wonderful Halloween party. It's the best Halloween party you'll ever find in the United States, Toronto, and points west. It occurs in this oh, building tonight. Uh, tonight's I'd like, great. To, I'd like to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, that you can take your picture on the moon. I just did that. Out in the lobby. Three pictures. Lobby. That's great out there, folks. You ought to do it. And coincidentally enough, today is the 80th anniversary to the date of Black Friday, October 25th, 1929. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. When the stock market decided to lay an egg. Of course, something like that could never happen again. I'm sure you don't have any of your money in stocks. No, no, I have Mr. Hurst up there taking care of me. Thank you, Bill, and John D. up there. Very Standard good, and now, Bye. ladies and gentlemen, in honor of that delightful stock market crash, here's Dean Mora and his orchestra, featuring Damon Kirsch and Cam Morrison. Now this comes from the uh, musical review entitled Americana from 1932. And to paraphrase the uh, words of one of our beloved performers here, we hope and pray that this occasion never happens again. Oh, wait a minute, it did. All right, here we go.
E.Y. Harper, Jay Gorney, the icons of American culture. Brother, can you spare a dime? Or two bits, something like that, yes. Well, some of these outfits are just fantastic. For those of you who are watching from points far away from this place, it's just astounding. We have Marie Antoinette. We have a gentleman who is going to be here for London after midnight yesterday, the Sheik of Araby. William Wallace is right over here. These, all these great folks, you will see them in their finery later on this evening. So watch out for the costume parade disguised as a conga. So that's later on this evening. And uh, my goodness, we have a gentleman here who is a victim of the stock market crash. He is covered entirely in ticker tape. And from the looks of his, he has, he has jumped already from the tallest point, and he survived somehow. It was quite, uh, come on up here, sir. What's, what? It ain't funny, it ain't funny. The sky is falling. I'm a stockbroker. I've lost it all. There's just nothing left. The house is gone. The car is gone. The wife is gone. The neighbor's wife is gone. My, my goodness. Well, better times are coming tomorrow. There's an open window around here. I gotta jump. Save yourself, folks. <laughs> Thank you. So, oh, well, he didn't jump. He just sat down. All right. Well, that's good enough. All righty. Now we're going to go a little cheer, a little more cheerful right now from 1930. This is a tune that was written by the Shields brothers, Ren Shields, I think, and his brother Stimpy. I'm not quite sure. But uh, from 1910, this is an Archie Blyer, Archie Blyer arrangement of Steamboat Bill. Goes out to Mr. M Mr. Clark Kent over there, Steve Billy Bob. time for another spectacular performance by the Satin Dolls Pinup Dancers. And there they will, now they will take you to an exotic land far, far away. No, it's not Eldar.
From 1933, this tune is called The Lovely and Beautiful Shadow Walt. Warner Newman's Shadow Waltz. And now we're going to bring to the microphone our lovely cicada of song, Ms. Karen Morrison. Extinct for you a number, made popular by Gus Arnheim and his Coconut Grove Orchestra. Originally featured Lois Whiteman, a tune called You Don't Know What You're Doing. What you doing? Oh, you don't know what you're doing. All the mean things that you're doing. All you put. 
wouldn't be doing what you're doing to me. Oh, you don't know what you're saying, what you say that you won't play in. Oh, you wouldn't be saying you won't play in with me. Oh, you never treat me right every night I'm alone. You don't even phone. No wonder I'm sighing, crying. You're driving me to ruin. Oh, you don't Unfortunately, I had nowhere to go but here to see Dean Morat and his orchestra, along with Care Morrison and Damon Kirsch, who's conducting his fireside chats later. Now, as we mentioned earlier, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Halpern will be here on November 22nd with his Hollywood cavalcade. But right now, here's a little bit of a preview. How about a big round of applause for Mr. Tim Panelli, the Prince of Pep, Richard Albert. Thank you, Mr. DeMille. That's right, folks. Next month, right on this very stage, a tribute to the world's greatest entertainer, Al Jolson. And our good friend, Sybil Jason. Right. So here's just a sample. Here's a song, a Jolson song, 1928. Well, I'm in the seventh heaven. 29, 28, 29. Some lucky boy, I'm in the seventh heaven. It's easy to guess. My baby said yes. I know I've just thrown a great big seven, for she is the prize. What lips and what eyes. She knows that I've got all the stuff, got all the things. She thinks that I'm angel enough without the wings. And that's why I'm in the seventh heaven, a heaven a having a heck of a time. Come on, boys, what do you say? Everybody, what a night, what a night! Everybody, dance big!
seventh heaven. It's easy to guess. Da 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 da. My baby said yes. I know I've just thrown a great big seven. For she is the prize. What lips and what eyes. She knows I got all the stuff. I got all those things. She thinks that I'm an angel enough without the wings. And that's why I'm in the seventh heaven. Heaven having a heck of a time. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you. What do you think of this orchestra, huh? Oh. Thank you, Mr. DeMille. We'll see you upstairs at the after party. And then next month, at the next Hollywood Cavalcade. I thank you. Richard Halpern, ladies and gentlemen. And now, here's our guest announcer, Johnny Holiday, with a few words. Even though I don't have a light on me, say, folks, why not try... Mr. Holiday. Yes. Use this microphone. I see I'm taller than Mr. DeMille. Hmm. Ah, Danny's awake. Ladies and gentlemen, this really is important, especially for you young people out there. Why not try a tempting cocktail, courtesy of Max, the benignly belligerent bartender, just a few steps up to the mezzanine bar or by elevator, courtesy of Kit Watson, your trained elevator boy take you to a thirst-quenching land of delightful libations. Tonight, we suggest the exotic Panchita. Panchita. Ma Panchita. Panchita. Made, made, yes, that's what I said. Panchita. Made, Panchita. made from the once forbidden absinthe. Absinthe. Now legal for your drinking pleasure. Pleasure. Watch your drink prepared right before your very eyes, thanks to our vintage, thank you, Absinthe Fountain. Absinthe Fountain. Used exclusively, ladies and gentlemen, exclusively at the Cicada Club by Max, the benignly belligerent bartender. Belligerent. Very much so. Oh, look at you and your yeah. microphone. Yes, well, I thought I'd join you up here, Mr. Holiday. Yes, you did. Say, Mr. Holiday, I hear you're writing a play. What's it about? Well, it starts with me kissing the leading lady for 20 minutes. You kissing the leading lady for 20 minutes? Then what happens? Well, then the curtain goes up and the play begins. And some play. And here's some band, ladies and gentlemen, Dean Mora and his orchestra. Yes, sir. They really are good. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Holiday, and thank you, Mr. DeMille. Thank DeMille. You, Mr. Mora. You're welcome. No, it's a greater pleasure for me. To be here. All right. Yes. You know, I'd just like to mention one quick thing. We have a very special guest coming up in just a few short moments. She's from South America. I think you'll get a big kick out of her. But right now, back to Mr. Mara. We return right now to the Coconut Grove nightclub with Jimmy Greer and his orchestra in a tune called I Can't Believe You're In Love With Me. We're gonna feature once again our ladybug of song, Miss Kara Morrison.
song that was originally recorded by Bean Crosby. We're going to do another one right now. And this is one that he did back in 1931 with Gus Arnheim. It's called One More Time. We're going to feature Damon Kirsch. Oh, you know that one. Very good. Damon Kirsch sings One More Time. Just one more time Let me do the things that I used to do Let me sit down to some tea for two One more time Just one more time You can bawl me out, you can call me names If you let me play those parlor games One more time Just one more time Eating all alone, being all alone's making me lazy Walking all alone, talking all alone's driving me crazy one more time, just one more time. You can spend my dough, you can drink my gin, you can snap the lock if you let me in. One more time.
champion, Gus Arnheim and his Coconut Grove Orchestra. Again, for those of you who are watching us via electronic television, you can see the vast array of costumes paraded before you. Of course, being relatively close to Halloween, we decided to do one of our scary numbers for Halloween, and we encourage you to make as much noise when indicated. And so we're going to do for you a number from 1936, and it's entitled, Mr. Ghost Goes to Town. Gentlemen, it is time for our final performance by the Satin Dolls pinup dancers. So please clear the road here. We're going to do. They're here, right? Okay. You're there, right? 
So, someone wave. You're there? Oh, okay, very well. From the big hit of 1858, Schacht Offenbach from Orpheus Tales, anyway, the Can Can. Say, how about those pinup dancers? And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a tradition every Halloween here at the Cicada Club. And we have a, fa a fine line of dancers form on the dance floor to do the conga line. And to lead the conga line, all the way from South America, ladies and gentlemen, Rustalina Carmelita La Cienega. So please form your line behind Russ Talita. No experience necessary, ladies and gentlemen. Just do what Russ Talita does. And now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready, Russ Talita? Rustalita is ready. Mr. Mora, are you ready? Here we go. The Conga.
And how about a big round of applause for Senorita Rostelita Carmenita La Cienega. I am so happy, all of you. I am all the way from South America way. And it is so happy and wonderful to see you on your special holiday of Halloween. So thank you all for joining me in the conga. Senorita Rostelita Carmenita La Cienega from El Cigando. So long. And now here's Mr. Dean Mora. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like for you to give a warm round of appreciation to your host for the evening, Maxwell DeMille, for putting on such a swell show. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for attending the Halloween party. Because remember, if it wasn't for me, you'd all be in here for free. That's true, folks. <laughs> Actually, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have this great assemblage of swell-looking people assembling here at the Cicada Restaurant every Sunday night for your vintage enjoyment. We encourage you to come back many, many times. We'll uh, check on their website for further information. Before we conclude this evening's uh, festivities here in the main room, I'd like to introduce the members of the orchestra. We have in the saxophone section, Matt Germain, Jeff Dudell, and Bill Krozak. I'd also note that this is the existence of this band as of next month will be 15 years. 15 years. And some of these guys have been here from the very beginning. Not this room, but with me. I don't know what possesses them to do it, but they're here for 15 years. And I thank them all for for taking my checks, thank you very much. And on the, uh, on the trumpet section back here, Jim Ziegler and Chris Tedesco. On trombone, Dave Ryan. On the violin section back there, Gene Sudbury, Terry, Terry Glennie, and Calabria Fonti. <laughs> on the drones back there, from Generous Loan from Royal Crown Review, Daniel Glass. The unofficial house drummer of the Cicada Club. On the bass, right back there, Jim Garofalo on bass. On guitar and banjo, the irrepressible John Reynolds. 
Honorary member of the Zenobia Patrol. I think there's a song for that. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway, on piano, Mr. Richard Gear on piano. Thank you for filling in. And our lovely cicada of melody, Miss Karen Morrison. The Florence Monster Jenkins of, uh, of the insect world. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and giving us a new deal. The only thing you have, the only thing you have to fear is Damon Kirsch, ladies and gentlemen. And he walks. And we'd like to thank our special guest stars, the Satin Dolls pinup dancers. And along with other guest performers, Richard Halpern and Johnny Holiday. All righty. We're going to conclude this evening now with a tune that, was, that helped the fortunes of Universal Studios in 1930. A tune that featured Paul Whiteman and his orchestra with Bing Crosby. We now bring to you Happy Feet.
everybody. You've been watching A Night at the Cicada Club. We will return in three weeks with another live broadcast featuring Christine Nelson and the Macombo Moderns. This is yours truly, Johnny Holiday, for the Dumont Television Network. Good night and thank you. Thank you, Johnny Holiday. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll view you enjoyed yourself here tonight in the Cicada Club. But don't worry, we're going to keep the music going a little bit longer for you. So for now, this is Maxwell DeMille wishing you all the best of good luck and good evening.